talk to us about getting involved to show what drew you in and sure. as what well, whatever you feel the feelings of him as a character. Sure, sure. Oh, yeah. um, so uh, so I got involved with Gotham uh, through Bruno Heller who created the show uh, last year. Bruno um, Bruno and I did a pilot for CBS Warner Brothers that didn't go to series, but I guess Bruno kept me in his in his thoughts. Uh, he called me earlier this year and he said, I've written the script Gotham and I've written the part of Jim Gordon with you in mind and you know, I'd like you to take a look. So that's how I got involved with it. Um, Bruno and I really like working together and have a good shorthand. And so um, that's how it started. Uh, and then, I'm sorry, what was the second part of the question? Just about well, Gordon as a character, how you view this guy. And it's, uh, you know, he, he's, he's the last hero uh, in a city that's, or he's the last good man in a city that's falling apart. Um, a city where sort of the references are sort of to like 1970s New York kind of um, a lot of like nothing is really quite working the right way everyone's a little bit on the take you know cops are a little corrupt the judges are corrupt the politicians are corrupt so there's all these villains around and potential villains coming around um, and he's uh, he's an honest guy he's a guy who's a war veteran his dad was a DA and he's just trying to make sense of the world and trying to keep it from falling apart, but he may, he may not succeed. The relationship with Bruce Wayne, I assume, is going to be a significant part of it. Huge part, yeah, yeah, yeah. He meets he meets Bruce when when uh, Jim and Harvey are charged with uh, investigating the death of Thomas and Martha Wayne. Uh, he bonds with Bruce because um, Jim uh, lost his father uh, when he was Bruce's age. Uh, his father died right in front of him. Uh, with the car accident. And so they form a bond, an emotional you know, bond immediately um, when Jim confides in Bruce that he understands his pain. And they have a sort of father, father-son relationship um, uh, of sorts. Uh, at the same time, Bruce is being taken care of by Alfred Pennyworth, and um, Alfred is also the next soldier of the Royal, Royal Forces. Um, and so there are two contrasting philosophies that they're, they're, they're trying to sort of teach Bruce how to be a man in the world, but they differ on how to do that. That's cool. How is Jim and Harvey, what's their relationship going to be like? It's, uh, it's, it's fun. It's a fun twist on that old sort of, you know, two different partners, you know, different attitudes. Donald is like such, just such a great actor, um, so perfect for this part because he can be both dangerous but also hilarious I and mean, it's almost in the same line he can do both. Um, Jim is a rookie. He, he When we meet him in the, in the GCPD, he's a war vet. His dad was a DA. So he's got a real sense of moral um, authority. Um, Harvey does not. Harvey uh, knows how the city works. He knows how to get along. He knows how to grease some palms. He knows how to shake down you know, some folks if he has to. And so the, the relationship they have is kind of... Um, uh, you know, they're both have they have a grudging respect for, for one another, and, and at the same time, they'll be at odds, serious odds, often. So it's fun. It's kind of like a like a great, wonderful love affair that's also really turbulent. Not that I would know anything about that. <laughs> Danny was saying that he's not really sure. They're still working on with the mixture of procedural and so trying things that you guys are investigating yeah. versus um, the serialized nature of it and just character moments and mythology. So as you've been shooting so so far, what has it felt like in terms of helping to develop? You know, have you gotten time to be able to have those character moments? Or yes. Animals? Yes. Yes. The show, I, mean, uh, uh, I don't know if you had a chance to see the pilot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, as you see in the pilot, it's not like we can just make the pilot that we've made and this go straight into a right. procedural show. It just right. wouldn't work, right? right? Exactly. Which I love. Because right. <laughs> you know, I like procedurals, and, and this will have a procedural element. We'll have a crime most episodes, if not every episode, that Harvey and I are trying to solve. Um, that crime will almost always tie into the larger themes of what we're talking about. And and, and, and those things, those are and multiple things we're talking about. One of them is a city completely falling apart and who's gonna who's gonna emerge with the power, right? It's a massive power grab because the Waynes were kinda helping to keep the city from falling apart. They were good people with real money doing good things. They're gone. Right. So it's chaos. Um, uh, so there'll be a crime each week, most weeks, and 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 there will be the serialized storylines, which is everything from Oswald's rise 
to being on the penguin, with fishes, you know, trying to figure out how to how to kind of um, make her way up. The, the crime families there. Um, Jim and Barbara's relationship, which is you know going to be rocky at times. Um, it's all those things, and we try to do it an hour. It's challenging, but so far we're pulling it off. I mean, I you know from the scripts I read, I haven't seen that. We're only on episode four, so. So you're not like a one-off territory yet, where just a character gets a whole episode, or you guys are still. No, well, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, you have to obviously lay a lot of foundation here, um, and the world's so big. We've got to decide, and I think Bruno is really brilliant about this. Because Bruno and the rest of the writers really figuring out what what story we're going to focus on initially. And what we're gonna do. You can't do everything at once, and that is it's it's what this is. incredibly challenging. Because Fans of, of, of this universe are invested in all of the characters. So they want to see all of them all the time. You just can't do it. Maybe it's kind of. Can we see him deal with any of the effects of being a veteran? Yes. And and I think that's um, I was just talking to the Armed Forces uh, Network. Um, it's really important to me. I did a USO tour a couple of years ago uh, with the cast of Southland and um, John Lucky from Big Bang Theory going over to Japan. Um, it's really important to me that we try to be authentic to the spirit of that, um, uh, that he's seen some stuff and, 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 and he's, 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 he's a good man, but, he's, but he's, he knows that the world can be tough and people can be cruel and he's, and he's trying not to be. Is there a feeling of being part of this sort of this legacy now that from now on we're now part of this giant thing? This yeah, it's years. weird. I mean, I don't think you can, yeah, you, could, you know, sort of say it you can say it to oh this is probably what's going to happen or sort of think it but in, until you're here I mean literally here at Comic Con do you realize oh right the train has left the station we are <laughs> we are on our way to somewhere I don't know where we're going I bought a ticket I don't know what where I'm going but it's going to be an inter interesting ride hopefully a long one to see but I think so yeah I don't know it's weird it's, a, it's, a, it's kind of a weird dream yeah. it's cool yeah, cool yeah, yeah. do you have any concerns or worries taking on an iconic role like that yeah for sure I mean you know you don't want to F it up basically I mean <laughs> you know fans are, are, are really intense about this stuff I understand why um, I would be too um, uh, yeah you don't want to you know, you want to do it right, otherwise you're, well, yeah, otherwise you're Wonder Woman or whatever the failed TV pilot <laughs> was. That was like, really? Ooh, boy. You want to do it right, now otherwise you're I'm going to so much grief now from somebody, somebody who made Wonder Woman. Like, yeah, well, it's bad. Um, so, yeah. But, you know, that's where this all comes back to, for me, to, to, to the road to Bruno. You know, Bruno and I really do see the world similarly in many ways and and so his sensibility is perfect for Gotham it's you know it's it's uh, it's not you know kind of fairy tales and and, and you know um, it's not it's not for kids exactly I mean there are kids in it and I think young, younger people will like it but I wouldn't recommend children under you know, a certain age to watch the show because it's because it's intense. It's an intense. Show. I love that. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.